Hello everyone and welcome to another video! Now as you've seen in the title, this video is about 3D modeling the houses in Attack on Titan. At the end of the video, I will also show you examples of renders where the houses are included. So for the sake of keeping this short, I will only explain the modeling process. So let's begin! To start out the project, I gathered reference images from the Attack on Titan game. I collected screenshots and colored over the different details, such as the wood and stone structures and the placement of the windows. After that, I inserted a cube and shaped it to fit the body of the house. I added loop cuts to extrude the faces to get a proper shape and then I started to add loop cuts for the wooden frame. Now here is where I ran into an issue. By extruding the faces on the body itself, I created a lot more work for myself than needed. Because when I come to the UV mapping stage, I would have to cut out all the wooden pieces off the body of the house and UV map every single piece. What we can do instead is create a cube, shape it into the right size, UV map it and then duplicate it. Place the wood in the right spot, duplicate it again and place it somewhere else. This saves a lot more time because you don't have to UV map every single piece of wood. And you also have the freedom to rotate, scale and move the cube without it affecting any other part of the house. When the wooden frame was done, I created the wooden frames with the windows by placing loop cuts along the edges of the cube to define the thickness of the frame and then removing the faces in between, bridging them back together and finally beveling them for a less sharper edge. From this stage, you're pretty free to build as much variation to the houses as you want by switching up the placements of the windows, the wood, and etc. Once the body part of the house was finished, I started to work on the roof. To create the roof tiles, I found a reference image, shaped it by using curves, then I beveled the curve to create a surface and scaled it up to fit the size. I also decided to clean the topology since the default topology wasn't ideal due to the incomplete loop cuts and the massive amount of edges. Then optionally, you could create a simple chimney by placing a cube on the roof, scaling it up to the ideal size, and then modeling the edges at the top so it doesn't look undone. If you would like to add more variation to the structure, you could bring it into sculpting software and define the edges on the rocks more. But for the sake of this video, I will be using a simple cobblestone texture from Quixel Megascans. And after that, you can call yourself done. Optionally, you could add doors as well, but since this project was mostly bird view focused and decided for a render and not exactly games, I decided to skip the step. All I have to do is set up the scenery. These houses can be perfect for inside the walls or outside the walls renders, but keep in mind that this design is mainly wall maria based. If you want to do other structures from Attack on Titan, you might have to find other reference photos. But the same applies to those houses as well. With that said, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more of my work, you can check out my Instagram. I also stream on Twitch these days more than I do YouTube or any other social media. So if you would like to see me play, just hang out, have someone to talk to, you're welcome to join. Link is in the description.